Hello! In this video we will show you how to order a new VAT registration. As you can see, we already have a VAT registration in Germany, but now we would like to add a registration in a new country where we're starting our sales. So, we click on Order VAT Registration. Choose the country where you need registration. For us, it will be France. Then choose Reason for Registration. There are three options available. As we sell goods, we choose Distant Sales. But, you can also see other options like MOS, Mini One Stop Shop, which applies only for sales in EU. And for further explanation, you can see another video. Also, there are cross-border digital services, which applies for sales of digital products. But we choose distant sales for now. You can also tick the box if you want LOVAT to be your tax representative. You can also learn about it in one of our other videos. After you have chosen the country where you want to be VAT registered, you can see the price for the service. For France, it is 300 euros. You need to fill in the information about the person who is responsible for the application of VAT registration. Usually, it's the CEO of the company. You need to fill in personal information and contacts. Please check if all the information is correct, because it may be used for the communication with tax authorities, if they have questions. Later, you need to provide all the documents of this person, and upload a power of attorney to authorise LOVAT to receive your tax certificate. In the next step, you will need to fill in the information about your business, starting from your company registration number. Please check that it matches with your registration documents. Then fill in the name of your company. If you are an entrepreneur, fill your name exactly as it is shown in the documents. Put the date of incorporation. Also fill in your company contacts, email, phone, and your legal address. In the next section, please write down two to three sentences about your business activity. Let's imagine that our company sells something like spare parts for cars. Please add the link to your store. You can also provide us the links like your website, Amazon, eBay or another place where you sell goods. This will help us get a better understanding of what your business does. Now we get to the section Turnover and Thresholds. You can see questions here. Let's look at them. We do not sell excise goods like tobacco, alcohol or cars, so we fill no here. We do import goods from another country. We import spare parts from China to France. So we tick yes. We have a warehouse in another country. We use Amazon FBA and it counts like the warehouse. So we tick yes. Our turnover for 12 previous months is zero because we are going to start our sales. For specifying the turnover of the next 12 months, well, I hope that it would reach 50,000 euros, but I will fill in less just to be pessimistic. 40,000 euros. For selecting the type of sales, there are different ones, B2B and B2C. B2B means that you can only sell to companies and B2C only to individuals. I will put B2B and B2C. Yes, most because I sell to individuals, but some companies can also buy something from me. In the next section, there are three questions which you will need to answer. For the first one, I will tick no, because we haven't started sales yet. But if you want to get a retrospective VAT registration, in case that you already have some sales in this country, then you should tick yes. Put the date when you would like to be VAT registered. And the last question means that if the person, partners or directors of the company was already involved in any other business in the country of registration for the last two years, then you should tick yes. As we are just going to start selling, we didn't have any other business activities in France before, so we tick no. Now we are at the section Value of Supplies. The first field of taxable turnover. I will just repeat the sum, which I expect to have in the next 12 months. And in the second field, I will fill zero. And let me explain why. 
Arkham uses Amazon FBA, which works like a warehouse. And as far as we have goods stored there, in a warehouse of the country where we are ordering the A2 registration, rules about the threshold are not applicable to our business and we're not going to export goods from France. And that's why I filled in those numbers. For the next question, I don't expect VAT on purchases to exceed VAT on supplies. Usually it happens when you're exporting goods, but we aren't going to do it. For the second and third question, I will tick no because I'm a new seller and would like to sell only in France now and not in other countries, inside and outside the European Union. In this section, you should fill in the bank details, which you can use for business. Fill in the name of the bank, SWIFT code, account number, and IBAN. Also, these details will be used for invoicing if you select this method of payment. Now, you need to upload documents for primary person, like a director. You can see the list of these documents. I already uploaded them. I chose my passport as the main document and birth certificate with rental agreement as secondary evidence pieces. After you click next, these documents will be uploaded and our team will get them for VAT registration. We are mostly done and this is the last page of the order. Here you should check if everything you have filled in before is correct. If it is OK, then you just go for the button, Submit Information. And after that, you'll get a message that your order has been placed. And soon, you will get an invoice emailed to you. But you can also click Buy here. And you will get an option to pay immediately via PayPal. You can also order an invoice here. As you can see, your order for VAT registration has been created. And for now, its status is pending payment. Our team will immediately start the process of registration. And after you make a payment, we can also contact you in case of the additional information or documents are needed from your side. I hope this video has been helpful to you. In case you have any questions or offers, you can leave comments or contact us directly and we will be happy to answer them. Stay tuned for more tutorials and explanation videos on our channel.